Welcome to my YouTube channel, Safety Guidelines. My name is Fahim Azam. The topic for this video is very interesting and informative. It is very special as it is related to welding safety. Let's move on. Please do watch it thoroughly and till the end to get benefits of this video. What is cutting, welding and brazing? The plasma arc welding process can be utilized with or without a filler metal addition. Oxyfuel and plasma cutting along with brazing are related to welding as they all involve the melting of metal and the generation of airborne metal fumes. Brazing is a metal joining process where only the filler metal is melted. Electric arc welding operations. Number one, ground the frame of electric, electrical arc welding machines as per safety requirements. Number two, securely attach ground returns to the material being welded by cable lugs, clamps or bolts. Connect returns as close as possible to the location being welded. Number three, do not connect ground returns to piping containing flammable gases or liquids or conduits containing electrical circuits. Number four, ensure that welding cables are continuous with within 3 meter of the electrode holder. Repair damaged welding cables using a standard plug and sockets coupling. Number 5. Inspect welding cables for cuts or abrasions to the insulation. Remove all damaged welding cables from service. Temporary repairs, splices and taped joints are prohibited. Number 6. Use non-combustible or flame-proof welding screens when working near other personnel or equipment. Number 7. Remove the electrode from the holder and unplug electrode holders when operations are discontinued. Number 8. Ensure electrical outlets on welding machines are 110 volts. 3 prong type with residual current devices. That is called ground fault circuit interrupters GFCI, earth leak circuit breakers ELCBs. Let's talk about gas welding. Simply, gas welding is the process of using heat generated from burning a fuel gas like acetylene to cut and or join metals together. Number 1. Keep cylinders, valves and att attachments free of dirt, grease and oil. Number 2. Clear debris from an oxygen or fuel cylinders valve by opening it slightly cracking before connecting the hose. Number 3. Stand to one side of the valve regulator outlet when cracking the cylinder valve. Do not perform this near hot work or other sources of ignition. Number 4. Use compression fittings on hose connections. Number 5. Check <coughs> all equipment attachment and connections for damage and leaks with soapy water before use. Do not use defective equipment. Number 6. Turn off gas regulators and bleed hoses to zero pressure at the end of the shift or task. Number 7. Close the torch nozzle when not in use. Do not leave torch with open supply gas valve unattended. Number 8. Protect 
hoses from potential damage and keep cylinders upright during operations number 9 install flash flashback arresters on the outlets of all oxygen fuel cylinders regulators and on the inlet of oxygen fuel cutting torches number 10 use only friction lighters to light a torch never light a torch with matches or a cigarette lighter number 11 ensure acetylene cylinders have a handle or wall wrench in place at all times general safety precautions number 1 use approved ppe during all welding cutting and brazing activities including when providing assistance number 2 wear leather gloves and body protection safety boots and leggings as needed to provide protection against heat sparks and flying metal particles do not tuck pants inside boots number 3 wear a welding helmet during welding operations and a helmet or welding goggles during cutting and brazing operations use shaded tempered glass or shatter resistant protective lenses on all welding helmets and goggles number 4 whenever possible move the object to be welded inside a maintenance shop or lay down yard number 5 remove combustible material from around the work area or protect materials from sparks slag or heat with the fireproof material or wetting number 6 remove protect combustible material below an elevated welding or cutting work area number 7 visually inspect equipment daily immediately remove or repair replace defective or damaged equipment number 8 conduct welding and brazing operations in well ventilated areas number 9 turn off all equipments and close compressed gas cylinders valve when unattended number 10 provide a portable fire extinguisher near the hot work area in hydrocarbon facilities cover all sewers that are within 23 meters of the work area number 11 maintain a trained fire watch during welding and cutting operations and for 30 minutes afterwards number 12 do not perform welding cutting and brazing in oxygen enriched environment that is an oxygen concentration greater than 23.5% number 13 verify the surface pipeline or vessel container to be cut welded or braced has been drained cleaned and purged to remove all flammable or toxic materials including residue determine the flammability of any coating prior to beginning work identify the presence of hydrocarbons using gas testing equipment if necessary number 14 use mechanical ventilation and or local exhaust when welding cutting or heating alloys that release toxic material per safety requirements additional respiratory protection may be required Thank you for watching my video do remember to subscribe my channel press the bell icon to receive notifications regarding my further informative video clips like comment and share my videos to encourage me and my team have a good time see you in the next clip till then bye